I was diagnosed with GERD um, when I was like eight um, and they didn't find out until I had my tonsils out um, and they realized that they were rotting out of my head um, because of all of the acid and regurgitation. From then on I had been on a cycle of medicine and then I would have a stomach scope and they would tell me that it was still going on and then I'd get a higher dose of medicine and then um, I would just have to avoid different things and deal with having GERD or reflux almost every day. So I would basically feel like I was going to throw up after I would eat or if I had something really greasy then I would just be gone to the world and it, my chest would feel like it was on fire. Then I would go back to the doctor and get more medicine again or avoid different things and eventually sometimes that would be fine for a couple years and then it would go back to being bad again and I just got tired of it. <laughs> I got tired of going on a cycle of upping my medicine, trying to lower it and then going back up again and then I was looking around and I had, was having a bad day. I had a banana and it made me sick and I had had my medicine that day and it just drove me wild that a banana was giving me acid reflux. So I found Streta online and it was really interesting to me. It wasn't as invasive as some of the other things I had seen out there. So I called and I made an appointment and I was able to get an appointment pretty quickly so I was excited. So my first appointment, I went and I met with Dr. Noir and he was very friendly and he told me exactly what was going to happen and asked me any of my questions and asked me about my symptoms. After I had those tests done to confirm that I was having these GERD symptoms and that it was GERD that was causing it, then I was able to have the Streta procedure. I was able to schedule it after the test within a week <laughs> and I had it on a Monday and I went back to work on Tuesday. I'm a teacher and I stand all day and I actually teach music, so I sing all day. So I was able to sing and dance the next day. It wasn't a problem. I didn't have to change my, my eating habits. I just was able to eat normally. Right afterwards, it felt like just a little sore um, in my esophagus, but nothing that extreme. I was able to take Tylenol for the first couple days and after a week it subsided. I started to come off my medicine and my symptoms have been keep going down and I don't have GERD every day and I don't have, sometimes I'll go a whole week without GERD or two weeks and so I'm just excited and I keep hoping it's just going to keep getting better and better. So the day of the procedure, I um, I think my procedure was in the morning, um, so I arrived and you know you do the normal like you can eat after midnight that sort of thing. I mean you come in and the staff's super friendly and um, they get you all set up. The nurses were really kind and the anesthesiologist told you what was happening and got you all set up and talk with Dr. Noir before um, the procedure and he tells you what he's doing and reminds you. And then I was out and had the procedure and then um, I woke up and I was was just able to rest for that day and I was fine took Tylenol and then the next day I woke up and went to work. <laughs> I did not have to change my diet for the after the procedure or during while I was healing. You can just eat normal food. Um, it doesn't hurt or anything. You can just eat normally. I don't wake up and have a sore throat anymore, which I'm super excited about as a singer. I don't have GERD every day, which is awesome. Um, and I've been able to have different foods that before would really bother me and I knew I would feel so sick. So now I've been able to have different things and not be so worried if I go to a restaurant like, oh my gosh, what did they cook it in? They cook it in oil, I can't eat it or that sort of thing. So it's just been um, really kind of almost freeing, which is nice. My um, mom has noticed that I don't have Tums in my purse at all times or that I didn't need more at the store. She's like, oh, I'm going to the store. Do you need me to buy Tums? And I said, no, I don't actually. So that was really exciting for me. I would say that they should definitely talk with Dr. Noir and, and see if it's something that they are interested in. It was really a minimally invasive procedure to have and with no side effects and just a really good opportunity to at least try to do something and to improve your quality of life and you don't have to rely on medicine and Tums and avoiding so many different things. So I think it, I would definitely recommend it for other people.
when I was first researching the procedure, um, I had stumbled upon it, and I had seen other procedures that you could get done that would supposedly help with your GERD, but those seemed kind of really scary to me and really invasive, and I wasn't really sure if they would work even, and so that scared me. So that when I saw Strata, I was really intrigued that I did see that there was an option out there that wasn't going to change my body's system. So I thought it was at least worth a shot to go and talk to the doctor and see what he said and how he explained it and if it would be um, an option for me. And it turned out it was, which was really exciting. And I just thought that it was at least worth a try. And it was, if it didn't work, it, it didn't change my body's anatomy and that I could never go back and be normal. It's just a little buffer around your spinster muscle.